Hi, welcome to Bakes and Blunders. I'm Colleen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make easy French Madelines with just 20 minutes of prep work. They taste amazing. They're flavored with some Fiore de Sicilia and some vanilla bean paste. So good. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna get started first by whipping our eggs on a medium high speed. Once they start to get a little frothy, we're gonna begin spooning in our sugar one spoonful at a time, and then turn the speed back up and whip until we hit ribbon stage. And after I get the sugar added, I like to scrape the sides down so that the sugar all has a chance to dissolve. All right, it's thicker, it's still flowing into itself, but that's okay, it's nice and thick. Time to add our flavoring. So I am doing a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. If you don't have vanilla bean paste, just do vanilla. I just like the little specks of the vanilla. And then I'm also adding a half teaspoon of Fiore di Sicilia. I could be pronouncing that horribly, so correct me if I'm wrong. And this is, it's like orange vanilla with citrus notes and it's a very unique flavor but if you don't have it you could just do fresh orange zest or orange extract okay now we're just gonna mix this for about a minute to combine it all together Okay, now you can do this next step in the bowl of your stand mixer, but I don't like the pokey bottom, so I prefer to just do this in a separate bowl. You're gonna need to store it in a bowl anyway. Okay, so we've got our egg mixture right here. Now we're going to add in half of our dry ingredients. Okay, now we're going to just gently fold it in. You don't want to knock out all of that amazing air that you just whipped in. So before I made these for the first time, I had always wanted to try Madeline's because they just look so fancy and delicate and pretty. But honestly, I didn't even know what they were. Were they a cookie? Were they a cake? I didn't know. So these are actually soft little sponge cakes and they're a little bit bougie, but they're pretty much amazing and I love them. So I hope you like them as much as I do. Now it's gonna get to the point where you think, oh, it's all, it's all combined, we're all good. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna have an explosion of dry ingredients. Happens to me every time. But once it's like 99% at least, fold it in, you're good. Add the rest of your dry ingredients. And again, fold very gently. Take your time. Okay, once all your dry ingredients are folded in, you're going to add your melted and cooled down butter. And you're gonna fold that in. Now in all honesty, at first, it just kind of soups around and doesn't seem like anything's happening. But it's okay, keep folding. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Thank you. 
Now look at that, it's not fully combined yet, but you can already see the mixture is still thick, but it's getting really silky. Very pretty and smooth. Okay, I think that's that. Let's get all this batter off. You seriously don't want to waste a single bit because this stuff is good. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? But we are going to chill this. I always make mine a day in advance so it can chill overnight. So just cover it up, pop it in the fridge, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Okay, our batter has been chilling overnight. Now it's time to prepare the pan. I'm gonna use a pastry brush and some melted butter and make sure to get into every nook and cranny in the mold. Now using melted butter is gonna give the Madeleines a tiny bit of a crisp surface and it adds a lot of flavor. You could probably just use baking spray, but I don't think it would taste as good. Kind of a personal preference. Once your pan is thoroughly greased, it is time to dispense the batter. So, there it is. Now it's really thick and firm right now, almost like cookie dough, and that's cool. So I tried using, um, I've tried using a cookie scoop before. I didn't really care for it. So I prefer to use um, just a tablespoon and then a little spoon to help scoop it out. Now the batter is, because it's so thick right now and cold, it's going to look not very pretty. But trust me, it will all work out. Now using the cold batter is what gives Madeleines that classic hump. So now normally when you bake cakes, because these are little cakes, little sponge cakes, you don't want any bumps in your finished cake. You want a nice flat surface, but not with these guys. And to also help to get that bump, I have been preheating my oven for about 30 minutes now, just to make sure that it's nice and hot. Um, I found that my oven takes a lot longer than it thinks to get to the, the preheated temperature. We've got a little bit of batter left. I'm going to put cover that, put that back in the fridge. And these guys are gonna bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. Right, here they are, fresh hot out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool for just one or two minutes before I transfer them to the cooling rack. Okay, now the Madelines are still very hot. Ooh, look at that. But apparently I don't have like nerve endings in my fingers. So they come out of the pan really easy. This one got was a little small, a little on the dinky side. That's okay. So you don't want to leave them in the pan long. Now, if you had a little bit of extra batter, see some of these could have been bigger. So if you did have extra batter like I did, you can let the pan cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, then brush it with butter again, and bake the remaining Madeline batter. Okay, Madeline's are all done. Time to have a little bite. Mm. So good. Citrusy, vanilla-y, all around delicious. Absolutely love it. So if you like this video today, smack that like button down below. And I'd also love it if you could leave me a comment and tell me if you have ever had or made Madelines before. 
They are so good and I really hope you get to try this recipe soon. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for baking with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. So good. I mean, I can't put a half-eaten one back in the box, right? Mm.